a mission one year. While mother and dad were here, we wanted to show them a few of the nice sights. So this is the, um, we took them to Capistrano, which is of course a lovely mission in uh, California. And um, mother and dad truly enjoyed it. As you can see, I'm carrying our brand new little Margie. I think she might be been about a week to two weeks old at the most. That was before mother and dad left to go back home. But she took the uh, traveling pretty well. <clears throat> Nancy got to go along too because she wasn't in school yet. And the bigger girls were kind of sad that they had to go to school. They couldn't trek along with us, but of course, their duty was in school, so they could go other times. This is the old ruins of the old church, and um, they are continually trying to restore it. They're not going to rebuild the church, but they're going to um, stabilize the walls, and it's a long, ongoing process. But this is the part I really love. It's the, the bell tower and um, it's a beautiful little inner garden and it's um, very inspiring to be there. <clears throat> and I can tell you that by now that baby was getting pretty heavy <laughs> after walking around all day with her. My hat was all ready to fall off and I was getting really kind of <laughs> worn out there, but it, it was nice to share this place with mom and dad. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. There's something about the old adobe buildings. They are absolutely enchanting. They, um, they seem to have a mystique all their own. It's um, hard to explain. You just feel like you're going back in time. As you can see, I'm carrying our brand new little Margie. I think she might be been about a week to two weeks old at the most. That was before mother and dad left to go back home. But she took the uh, traveling pretty well. Mother and father were both brought up as Catholics and it, they were able to benefit from it for their whole lifetime and they both, when they finally died, they had happy deaths and Tom always said that he hoped that when that time came for him that he would be as well prepared and have as happy death as they experienced. And they were also very instrumental in Tom receiving instructions and studying the Catholic faith before he made his decision to join because he never did anything on the spur of the moment. He was very thoughtful, deep, deep thinker. He wouldn't do something just without really due consideration. I'm very proud of my father. He was um, a veteran of not only the First World War, but the Second World War. And he was instrumental also in Tom and I meeting and eventually marrying because uh, he and Tom were on the same ship, the USS Mobile and they saw great service out in the South Pacific and um, it um, was I think my dad was very pleased that we finally we did marry and he was very proud of our family I think he always felt that he was pretty clever that he helped to, helped us to meet and he was responsible for us establishing such a nice family My mother was a very, very devout woman. She had a good heart and she was good and kind to everybody. But she also had a sense of humor. She could always play tricks and tease the kids and keep everything exciting. She never liked to think to get too dull.
willows. There's Tom, the two servicemen together. Tom was very fond of my father, and my father, of course, thought of Tom as his, one of his sons. He just, very close relationship. And of course, mother, she loved flowers, and here were these flowers just blooming in abundance. And she'd have to nurse her little plants along home, at home in her garden. She had a flower box on her front porch that my father made for her and I can remember she'd buy her little geraniums and she'd feed them little drops of cod liver oil and everything she could think of to make them bloom and when she came out here there were it was just astounding to her to see the plain old geraniums as high as her head growing and flourishing and she said oh I have to baby my little plants to make them grow I think she would have loved being out here So we say here that Grandma and Grandpa depart, but there were no pictures on this sad day. We didn't bring the camera because everybody was in tears.